What's up, YouTube? It's Winston. You're watching Fancy Boy Jeeps. I know I've had a little bit of a hiatus, and, uh, and I apologize about that. Just been busy wheeling and doing a lot of work on uh, on Jeeps. Uh, but as you can see today, I'm bringing you a video under the Jeep, and I have a little bit of an issue. So, uh, as you know, I recently put the three and a half inch lift for metal cloak on and uh, and upgraded the control arms and everything. And uh, since doing that, I think that I have some drive shaft issue. So this is a known thing with the JKs, JKUs, once you get over, I believe three inches, that you could have an issue with your drive shaft. And it's just from so much flex that, that it just kind of overextends it. So I'm having some issues and how I know what's going on uh, and how we, how I'm pretty sure it's my drive shaft is uh, when I'm in four wheel drive and I, and I move and I turn uh, my steering wheel one way or another, I'm getting a loud clicking and popping noise. And, uh, and that's pretty much, I'm almost certain I've talked to a couple of people. I'm almost certain that it's either my, my whole drive shaft or it's just the CV joint. So I got a little bit of some sludge up under here. I'm gonna see if I can show you. There's the sludge that I'm talking about up in there. I got the sludge on the CV joint itself and kind of sum it back in there. But that's typically what happens is it just gets overextended and it just explodes and you get all that nasty stuff all over there. So I'm going to remove the drive shaft and we're gonna inspect it. Um, I'm gonna remove those bolts there and those big bolts there on the front drive shaft so that I can remove it. I kinda expected that I was gonna have to replace my drive shaft at some point, but not this fast. I literally wheeled my Jeep one good time with all my new stuff on it. And I mean, it was extremely, extremely flexible but I think that that has helped cause this issue. So um, we're going to, I just got done driving the Jeep, so I'm gonna let it cool down a little bit because I'm under here near, near all these all these pipes. So I'm gonna let it cool down for a little bit and then we're gonna get into taking the drive shaft out and then inspect it. All right, Jeep is cool now. We're gonna start by taking these bolts off. These are an eight millimeter, so it's pretty small. The bad thing is, like I'm, I'm gonna be able to get to most of these, but the ones at the top that you can see right there, like those, I'm gonna have to, I guess I'm gonna have to maybe pull the Jeep up a foot or something and, and have the drive shaft rotate so that I can take that out. So we'll take that out first. Um, if you want to, you can remove your whole skid plate system. I'm, I'm gonna hard pass that one. Uh, just to get to that, I, I think it'll be fine. Once I take those out, uh, then I will take out the big bolts back there. Main reason I'm gonna do the small bolts first is I feel like if I do those bolts first, it'll allow the drive shaft to sit on like my skid and then I can take the front off. I feel like if I did the front first, then I'd have to hold up the front with something just to get to the back. So I'm gonna start with the front I'm really hoping that it's gonna be easy to take off. So we will see. So I managed to get two of the bolts off and one of the clasps off here. The problem that I ran into is because of, uh, because of the, the space, my, my socket and wrench is getting stuck in there. So before you start, make sure you have some of these, these come in handy. I think I got these at Lowe's, but uh, but you're gonna need a very small eight millimeter. And I mean, uh, not a lot of people have these. So just make sure you go and pick one of these, pick this up if you're gonna do this and you don't have one, cause you're gonna need it. You know, as I sit here and wrench, I think to myself, they need to do a what you need when you want to lift your Jeep video, you know? And when I say they, I mean me. So I think I'm gonna do a video. There's another one out, nice. I think I'm gonna do a video. 
not the next one, but here's some on actually the things that you are going to have to for sure do when you lift your Jeep over over three inches because everything changes when you do that. You, I, I feel like you can get away with two, two and a half inch and not have to change a lot of stuff. But I'm going to do a video on what it is that you need when you are lifting your Jeep over three inches in order to make sure that your Jeep still runs the right way. And this will be, this is going to be JK and JKU exclusive because that's where my knowledge is. If you got a TJ or a YJ or anything, LJ, I'm sorry. I don't know about it. I'm just, I'm just learning on my Jeep. Give me a damn break. Um, but seriously, I think that's what I'm going to do. Cause just damn it. Just damn it. All, right, all four bolts are, are, are all like eight. My bad. All eight bolts are out. Now we're going to start on the big bolts here. Those ones back there. We're going to get all four of the, uh, where's your finger? Where's your finger? Bow there. So before I actually move to the rear, uh, I want to go over just one or two tips. So earlier in the video, I mentioned make sure you have these small ply, these uh, small wrenches. Um, they're excellent to have for very small things like this because it's an eight. Uh, I used the closed end; it just was easier to take up. Super simple. The other thing is. I mentioned that I was gonna have to pull up a little bit in order to get to the other bolts. I literally had to do that to everyone, and here's the reason why. Let's wait for this plane to go over. I was wondering if you could see it. Um, I had to pull up every single time, and the main reason was because the lower ones were getting caught on the actual drive shaft itself, and the upper ones there was no time, there was no way to actually rotate. And I could only get, let me see if I can show you. So literally the only two, the, the only two that I was able to get to was this one and that one. So every single time I had to take these two out, get, get back in the Jeep, pull it up, get out, make sure that this was showing. Because again, here was uh, the screw, the bolt was touching here. And then on the top up here, there was no room to actually, as you can see, that's really close. There was no room to actually, uh, to actually wrench. So just a little tip, a little advice. So just trying to make sure that I, I figured out which, uh, which socket fit on it. And this is a 15. Yeah, this is a 15. Boom, 15. So that'll fit on there and we'll take all these out and hopefully we'll be able to just remove the drive shaft. So let's see. Here's another quick tip. Uh, use this. Whoops. Whoops. Yeah. Use use this. P B blaster. Use it. Just use it. Um, every five minutes for uh, thirty minutes. Um, it just makes everything easier. I was able to get two of the big bolts off, and two of them weren't. So I'm using this. I had to call in a little bit of help. Shout out to my boy Rhett. Lives right around the corners. It's, uh, member of a uh, good old low country wranglers um so he brought me over an impact so hopefully this will be able to knock these two bolts out and uh and we'll see drive shaft is out man let me just tell you it was not it was not easy uh front part came out actually pretty simple back part had to hit a little bit um so you know, I, I gave you guys a bunch of tips and I'm just going to kind of reiterate and kind of go back through them real quick. Um, the first thing is make sure you have uh, an eight millimeter, like the tiny socket or the tiny, tiny wrench, um, just because you're not going to be able to get in there and open up, uh, open up those, those bolts just because they're going to be really close. Uh, make sure that when you take two of the bolts out on the back of the front drive shaft to pull up so you can get the rest of them out. Um, hit everything with PB Blaster if you can. It kind of makes everything a little bit more simple to get out. Um, if you have an impact, that helps. If you don't, phone a friend. Like, who wants to be a millionaire? Hit them up. I kind of feel like that this aged me. Wow. Anyway, um, so make sure you have those things and, and you'll be able to kind of get them out. Um, 
I'm going to start exploring what's going on with it. If it's a CV joint, if it's the whole drive shaft. Today is Sunday and I have a trip on Friday. Golsh's Memorial Day. And today's Sunday. I don't even on Friday. So we'll see. We'll see. Hopefully I'll have some hopefully I'll have some video of a you know an install or hopefully I'll have a video of you know me wheeling something. Um we'll see. But uh all in all, I got the draw shaft out. Um it's a little bit of a process, but it's 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 a known thing. Uh, so I kind of I kind of knew to expect it. So uh but if you guys uh, like the video, make sure to comment. Um, if you have any any questions or suggestions or anything like that, feel free to, to drop that in the comment section as well. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification button. If you're on IG, follow me at Rang This Way. Also, check out my uh, club's page at Low Country Wranglers. Uh, that's on IG as well. Most importantly, keep those Jeeps fancy, boys.